Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the best OBS settings for streaming. It literally doesn't matter if you want to stream games or do like just chatting or whatever. I'm going to give you like overall like the best settings really, especially if you want to stream on one single PC. Like this is going to work out universally pretty much for like anyone guys. And I'm going to explain everything step by step. So therefore don't worry. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, now I'm going to show you my personal best OBS settings, which I use here already for over a year guys, so therefore you can be sure they're really good. I use them for each and every single of my uploads and also for live streaming. It's like universal, so therefore I'm gonna go here into my settings real quick guys. And I know some of you might use normal OBS, but it's gonna work exactly the same way for you as well. We're gonna go here first of all onto stream. Of course, put in whatever streaming platform you guys are using right now. I don't know, like YouTube or Twitch, maybe even Facebook, I don't know. Then we're gonna click onto output and you can see guys that if you're gonna go here for streaming i have first of all here my encoder on hardware nvic the newest one if you have nvidia card please utilize always the hardware one over your cpu you know and the same also with amd i know amd also has like a very specific one please always utilize your gpu over your cpu then for the rate control you're gonna put it to cbr bitrate to 7000 because yeah twitch anyways can't handle like really more than that and yeah for youtube the same even though youtube can only really like process like 5000 bits something like that uh still put it a little bit higher so it's still gonna be like a little bit sharper it, it actually works i don't know how but it still makes a difference i figured out myself then guys for the keyframe you're gonna leave it on zero put your profile on main and then you're gonna put your gpu to zero and max b frames to two and then we're pretty much already done here with streaming then we're gonna go over to recording guys and you can see here i actually put my recording format to mp4 because it's like the easiest one to use you know audio tracks i leave on one recording i have as well on hardware nvic new you know the newer one here as well the same thing guys always put your codec as well on your gpu super important rate control on cbr and then next up your bitrate to 12,000 because you really want your gameplay to be super sharp you know um therefore something like 7,000 would be a little bit too less for streaming it's perfect you know because it's getting like rendered on the server's life but if you want to do a recording you should be above 10,000 guys something like 12k is really like the best one also in terms of like not having like too much fps loss and input delay and yeah therefore this is like the one i use keyframe interval on zero again my preset i get on performance guys my profile on high and then again gpu zero and max b frame on two and then we're already done here with this one we're gonna go over to audio guys you can see my audio bitrate is 160 um, just like here, you know, the usual, like the standard one, you don't really need more. Like I know there are some people who say that you should put it higher, but it doesn't make a difference really too much. Then we're going to go here into audio guys. You can see that my sample rate is 48 kilohertz. My channel's of course stereo. So we have like everything recording at the same time. And in desktop audio, you have to figure it out for yourself. I'm personally using here a HyperX Quadcast S. So therefore that's my microphone. And my normal desktop audio is just simply on default, you know, so pretty much like everything which is happening on my PC is gonna get recorded, you know, not only like Discord, not only my TeamSpeak, not only my, I don't know, yeah, desktop, whatsoever. Then we're gonna move over here to video, guys, and you can see my basic resolution is just gonna be like a monitor resolution. For me, it's 1920 times 1080, so therefore, yeah, I just keep it on that. And for output, you kind of have to figure out for yourself what your PC is capable of doing, you know? Like my PC can do like a perfect output in 1920 times 1080. Some PCs might have like too much struggle with FPS, so therefore maybe put it on like 1280 times 720, you know, normal HD. Then next up guys, your downscaling filter, you're gonna leave on Bicubic because that's like the middle one, you know, that's like the best one between like performance and still having like good visuals. So therefore I just keep it on that one. FPS type on common FPS values and common FPS value, of course on 60 because we want to record in 60 FPS. Then next up guys here under advanced, you can see, you know, my video settings, my colors and everything. My color format is actually NV12. That's the best one I figured out personally here guys. UAV color space on 601, um, YUV color range as well on partial here. And what you're gonna do is as well, please make sure to um, check this here actually, force GPU as render device. Again, super important, always render above your GPU guys, not your CPU because you're gonna lose like so much more FPS actually if you don't do that. And for the rest, you can just like copy it kind of for yourself, you know, I'm just gonna click here onto it. I have a little bit of delay in there, you know, like a normal streaming delay and all that stuff because yeah, I don't wanna get, yeah, insta stream snapped or some stuff like that when I actually stream Fortnite itself. And for the rest, we're pretty much done here, you know? The rest is like not really here 
to necessarily something like hotkeys and stuff like that. Then just simply create your scenes and you're pretty much all set up and those are the best Streamlabs OBS settings here in 2022 for streaming. And yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions for free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome I'm out peace. That shit too light